Hey, we're back at my favorite part of the show, in the kitchen. Why? Because we have food. <laughs> and of course, my friend, Chef Lou Schwartz. How are you? Good, how are you? Glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> glad to be back. So, what are we doing today? We're doing a... We're doing a uh, wild salmon. Mm -hmm. We're going to pan sear that, and we're going to serve that over top of some tarragon and grainy mustard infused lentils. Okay, and we did this earlier, so we'd be ready for this. And uh, these are lentils, which are a legume. And uh, how do we prepare this for, uh, for the show? We started off uh, like we're cooking, uh, let's say, rice. So we uh, slowly cook our onion and garlic in a little extra virgin olive oil. Once that's nice and translucent, we're going to add in our lentils. Mm -hmm. uh, stir that up a little bit. A little salt, a little pepper. Then we add, you could either use water or chicken or Kay. vegetable stock. Just enough to kind of uh, coat them and let it cook nice and slowly until right. they're nice and tender. You might need to add a little bit more liquid to it okay. to, make it, uh, to make it tender. And you were talking earlier about when you're cooking the garlic and the onions and stuff, when we're... In fact, we kept taking it off the burner yes. I, because you don't want it to get too dark for what reason? We don't want the garlic to burn. Once garlic burns, it takes on a very bitter flavor. Uh, like once that. it happens, <laughs> the, the dish is ruined. So right. you have to start all over again. And this comes from Chef Lou. Exactly. He would know. Exactly. So, so we have our salmon. Okay. So we're going to cut this in half and we're going to have uh, two portions, both uh, one for each of us. So we're going to just basically cut this right down the center here. Nice sharp knife. All right. A little salt. And we're using kosher, kosher salt. Kosher salt. All healthy stuff. Cracked black pepper. Nice. We're going to flip this over skin side. Same thing. We're going to put a little pepper, kosher salt, and then we're going to take just a little bit of olive oil and just drizzle just enough onto the skin that has a little bit of oiliness to it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put this in the pan, skin side down first. All right. So the pan's nice and hot. We're uh, nice. medium, medium high heat. So we want to kind of uh, push the skin down there so the skin crisps up. Ooh, I smell it. And you'll notice I'm holding my hands on there. Basically what happens is once protein hits the heat, it actually starts curling up and on itself. Okay. So by holding your fingers like this, the protein will then relax, the skin will nice and crisp up evenly, and uh, you can let go. Or you can buy a weight and put that on top of there, but this yeah, is much this is more easier. more fun. Much easier, yes. Yeah. Makes your hands tougher. So, <laughs> there you go. we'll let that sit, like I said, three, four minutes on the skin side down. Uh, then when we're ready, we'll flip it over on the flesh side okay. for about 45 seconds to a minute maximum. Really? And that's it. <clears throat> the one thing you don't want to do with fish is overcook it. Once you overcook fish, it takes on a very fishy flavor and smell. Um, yeah, we've talked about that, too, yes. because a lot of people don't know how to, how to purchase fish. If you go to a place and you see fish and it's very smelly, I know it's fish, yes. it's fish has a smell. But if it's overly fishy smell, it's not good, it's not fresh. Exactly. And the same thing if you overcook it, it will have a very fishy smell. So exactly. things to remember. Exactly. So, didn't know if you wanted so, this. Yeah, you thank you. So if you're at a grocery store and you see the fish, um, you know, make sure that the, f the, the flesh is actually firm. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's got a lot of give to it, 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 that's also a good sign that it's old as well. Okay. So the smell, uh, the, the texture of the fish, and uh, if you can get whole fish, uh, look for the eyes. The eyes will be clear, they won't be sunk, uh, they won't be cloudy, and the gills, if you can see the gills inside oh, really? there, will be nice and I red. I didn't know that one. So, if, uh, if all that is uh, all well and good, then mm -hmm. you'll have nice fresh fish. Good. So Things you need to know when you're buying fish. We'll take a look, and I just want to show you how beautiful that's crisping up on, okay. the, on the, uh, the, flesh, uh, the skin side. So we'll set that back down. And we're just about ready to actually flip it over. It's okay. actually going pretty quickly. So, yes, it is. Which is a good sign. And here's the lentils. Our These lentils are, done. are ready. Now what we have here is a little of the uh, grainy mustard. So okay. if you want to put about a, a nice heaping uh, teaspoon in there. How's that? Perfect. I'm going to take some fresh tarragon here. I'm just going to pick off the leaves. The stems you can use. You can actually put that inside of your lentils uh, when you're cooking it. Uh, the stems have great flavor. So never throw that away. What kind of a flavor does tarragon have? Tarragon has a kind of a, a licorice kind of a flavor to it. So, huh. um, you know, if you ever have like a, a anise um, at the grocery store, you buy that and it's going to have that nice flavor. So I'm going to throw wow. in the tarragon. I can smell that coming out of the lentils. Absolutely. The mustard. Really, wow. really good. So the tarragon's in there. A little bit of red wine vinegar. Okay. And then just finish it with a little bit more extra virgin olive oil. We're going to flip our fish now over. Popped. 
Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice, crispy skin. It's Why exactly do I want, want, okay, you're leaving the skin on there. Yes. Why? <laughs> Please. Well, you uh, once you scale the fish, uh, you take all the scales off the, the fish, you can eat the skin. So it'll okay. be fine. Uh, if you're looking to save on, uh, you know, cut back on uh, the calories, you can remove the skin. But it, it does act as a barrier so your fish uh, okay. will not dry out. Same thing with chicken. Ooh, if you want to sear off chicken shit. breast uh, without it drying, leave the skin on. You can always remove it at the end. Um, it has a lot more of the fat in it. It, it protects it. It acts mm -hmm. as a barrier against the heat. Like I said, protein, okay. if you dry it out, it uh, becomes chewy. You don't want that. So our salmon, this one, since oh. it's so thin, thinner, I should say, is just about ready to go. The other piece here. You don't here, want to overcook that fish. The other piece here, we're just going to flip it over onto the sides and let it go. I'm going to bring the plate over. We're going to get ready to plate here in a second. Wow, that smells good. Those are awesome. So that's going to act as the base. On our uh, on our plate. How much you want on a plate? <laughs> you know, put a nice big heaping. Uh, All right. Couple of tablespoons right in the center. A little more. Just a little bit more. Super healthy. Uh, fresh lentils fresh are herbs, awesome. Fresh herbs. The fresh spice. Well, this isn't fresh, but man, that's good. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is good stuff. Wow, that's a good mustard. So. Our salmon is ready, and it's beautifully cooked. It's not bleeding out the uh, the, the white fattiness uh, mm -hmm. in there, so it's perfectly cooked. Oh, so when it does that, it makes it being overcooked. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> now so, I know. So now you can see it's beautiful. It's got that nice color okay. to it, and it's got just the right amount of give to it. Okay. We want to leave it a little underdone. And then we're just going to plate it up like this. Nice. And I have forks. And we have forks. And you All can right. dig right in. Okay. Go ahead. You first. All righty. And a little bit of the lentil. i got to have some lentils. The lentils with the acidity will cut through the, the fattiness of the salmon and uh, adds a really great flavor to it. Excellent. That's wonderful. Uh, God, you cook so good. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I know you're ready. <laughs> Ooh, I'm having a bite.